I have a trick shot, something we've never done before. Never done. I got a surprise for you. Nice shot, Steve. Woo! Hey, what's up, guys? Ghoul Brothers here at Paloma Pachanga. Near Hondo, Texas. Venatura Excursions brought us in to have a little fun in the sun in South Texas to enjoy all that this place has to offer from yeah. What, we're dove hunting? Pheasant hunting? Quail? Chuckers? Anything else that flies that's here? We will probably shoot it as long as it's legal, of course. And we thought while we're here in the sun, let's bust out the Franke Affinity 3 and put it to the test Ghoul Brother style. Because if you've watched any of the videos on Target Focus Life, you see that I do these in-depth reviews. I've already reviewed the Franke Affinity 3, but we need to put a little Ghoul Brothers field test together here. So we got some stuff planned from Perfect. pulling off trick shots on the five stand to I got an idea. Here's what we're gonna do. You know what? I'm gonna save it. This is a trick shot. We've never tried it before. We've You're never... just gonna spring it on me? Yeah, You're I got a trick shot for me? a little bit later, but we'll put this gun to the test, give you a summer review, and then share our thoughts on the Franke Affinity 3. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. To kick things off, I just want to tell you a little bit about the Franke Affinity 3. I've done the full in-depth and detailed review on Target Focus Life. If you want to check that out, we'll put the link down in the description. So first off the bat, the gun I have in my hands is the Affinity 3 Waterfall Elite. I'm just going to talk generically about the Franke Affinity 3. It's very similar to this gun. Only difference is the Waterfall Elite has Cerakote receiver, Cerakote barrel, fiber optic, oversized controllers, just a few things like that that are different. And it comes in at a price tag MSRP of $12.49. But you can get the basic camo version of the Affinity 3 for $9.59 MSRP, of course, or $8.49 for the black version. As always, I picked this up from Reed's, my favorite sporting good retailer, and their prices are much below MSRP on the Franke Affinity 3. Now, this is the Affinity 3, which means it's a three inch chamber, also available in the three and a half. This particular gun is six pounds, 14 ounces, and you can tell just by picking it up, it's a lighter gun. It feels really nice in the hands. I'm not gonna get too much into opinion now because after Aaron and I get a chance to put it to the test on the range, we're gonna share all sorts of thoughts about it. This gun is a 12 gauge inertia driven shotgun. So very simple to take apart, not a lot of moving pieces, but that probably means you're gonna end up with a little bit more recoil than you would a gas operated gun. It does have shim kit available so you can adjust drop and cast, which is very, very helpful, as well as adjusting the length of pull. So a lot of versatility with this gun. I'm excited to get out and shoot it. I better track Aaron down. Let's go put it to the test. So here's the five stand. This is looking pretty sweet, huh? Oh, I'm excited. Ready to bust some clays. How about you? Yeah, let's get to it. See what this Affinity 3 is made of. Now it's time to bust out some of those exhibition shots. You still remember how to do them? It's been a few months since we've been able to I'll shoot. I'll tell you what, I'll show you what I got and see if you can keep up. How about that? All right, let's see what you got. All right. Okay, it's been a little while. Let's get started with something a little bit easier. Maybe just a little hip shot. Hip shot? Now, now do I have to do the same shots as you or what's going if on? If I get it, you have to try it. And if you get a shot, I have to try it. Sounds fair enough. Let's go number one from the hip, pull. Oh, not much left of that, my man. All right, pull. Okay, There we All go, right. center punched it. Yeah. So it's now my turn to call the shot. Yeah, what do you got, man? Well, let's do one-handed. Let's do a number uh, five one-handed. Pull. Very nice. I have been working out this off season, so. I can tell. Yeah. yeah. Mainly the wrist. I've been doing a lot of. Keyboard wrist, work and stuff. Keyboard yeah. work and stuff, yeah. Okay, we're going number five one-handed. Pull. Nice, very nice. Okay, obviously we need to step the game up a little bit more. Number seven, behind the back, with a stare down on the camera. Pull. Very nice, very nice. All right, let me try it. See if my little uh, short body can, oh. Here, hold up. This uh, may help you. A little booster for you, man. <laughs> Pull. Yes! Nice. I thought you said you were going to okay. step it up, maybe uh, trip me up a little bit. Well, since we're kind of in that zone of getting uncomfortable, you made me sit on a chair to do a shot that I rarely ever do. Mm -hmm. That's your shot in our live shows. Yep. Might as well do the same thing for you. What's that? Why don't you hold this? 
Oh boy. All right. So here we go, moving it up off the railing from between the legs. Pull. Yeah. How was that? Ready? Ready. Here we go. Pull. Nice. Look at that. I thought we were going to make this hard, boy. Well, what do you got next? Okay. Here it is. Two clays at the same time. You got to break both birds and you got to shoot them limbo style. Pull. Nice. Ooh, Very yeah. good. I honestly don't know if I'm even going to try this shot because I might be out for the rest of our weekend down in Texas. Why would you it. be out? Back issues. <laughs> <laughs> Pull. I could not even limbo back enough to even see the birds. That was something special. You know what? You got me on that one, Steve, but uh, I think we're going to take it up a notch and head upstairs. Upstairs? Upstairs, yeah. Oh, what's up there? Let's go see. Here, I'll show you. These are some steep stairs. Kind of hard to be standing and shooting out of here. What are you thinking? Well, I don't plan to do any standing here. I plan to do push-ups and do shooting out the window. All right, I like it. Let's see it. All right, so on this shot, I'm going to get in the push-up position, put a shell in my gun, do about two to 300 push-ups, do one one-handed push-up, come up in the push-up position, pull. And just make powder out of that clay right there like that. Just like that? Just like that. You notice that even after two to 300 push-ups, I'm not even tired. I didn't see two to 300, but if you want to get them now, we'll, we'll wait. No, I want to see you shoot the shot. All right, here we go. Two, three, four, 197. 198, 199, 200. Okay, pull. What, what happened there? I saw it hit the lake out there. Well, you see, I, I normally 100, 150 reps. Yeah. Got really exhausted, fatigued on the 200. And just, I was tired. I got weak on the shot and, and missed it. But it no, happens, That'll man. happen. It that'll happens. Happen. <laughs> what else we got? So for this next segment here, it's a little bit of speed shooting. If you watch the reviews that I've been putting out, I've already done one on the Franke Infinity 3. I think I shot a 127. That's three clays on the clock. How fast can you shoot them? We don't have a clock here today for you. So it's not gonna be about speed, but the reason I like this test is because you're gonna get, I think, a really good feel for this gun when you're on the clock and you're trying to pull it all together and shoot three clays really fast. Ready for it? I'm ready for it. It's not okay. my first time around a shotgun. Here we go, three shots. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. There we go. I think that was a pretty good run. Yeah, that was definitely faster than the first one. I just love this test. I mean, not necessarily just to see how fast you can go, but when you're on the clock and you're trying yep. to go fast, yep. I feel like you get such good feedback as far as recoil, trigger pull, ergonomics, balance of the gun. And we're gonna share our thoughts on this gun towards the end of this video, so definitely stay tuned for that. You hear what Aaron has to say about speed shooting the Franke Affinity 3. You know what's up next? No. Lunchtime. Lunchtime. They're Let's preparing some food for us. Let's fill our bellies. We got more shooting to come though. All right, so we've been going back and forth, having some fun with these exhibition shots in the yep. five stand, but I have a trick shot that's a tag team trick shot that I think is going to be, it's new for us. Something we've never done before. Never done. Never done. You ready? You up to it? I'm ready. ready Let's get, go. Ready to sweat in this I've, heat? I've been smoking my clays with that from the Affinity well, 3, so. I got a surprise for you. So here's what I'm thinking. You take the Affinity 3, I'm gonna throw two clays. You're gonna shoot the first clay with the gun over the head. Oh, not a problem. Left-handed over the head because- I've never tried that. I know, I know, but I have faith in you as a professional trick shooter that you can figure it out. Left-handed over the head. So you shoot, the gun is now empty. I'll have a shell in my mouth. Then you're tossing the gun. Yeah, I spin while loading my high overall, upside down over the shoulder to smoke the second clay. Oh, that's a lot of moving parts right there. If it wasn't crazy, it wouldn't be fun. You up for the challenge? I can do my part. All right, hope you drink lots of water. We might be out here for a while. Let's see. Pull. You got it. Ah, I got it? I think you got a, like one and a half BBs on the very top of it. That might be good to say you've got it, but we gotta smoke this thing. Do it. Boom. Yeah! Oh. Nice shot, Steve. Woo. Oh. 
it's time to strip down a layer because it's getting hot trying that. That was a lot of fun. It's getting hot in here. Uh, no, that's not, no, that's no. not what you, okay. There is a pool back at the uh, the lodge there that we're staying at. Okay, so we've got to spend the day shooting the Franke Affinity 3. We said that we would share our thoughts on this gun, give you our final feedback after putting it through some unconventional testing. Ghoul brother testing. Ghoul brother testing. We're gonna do that from the pool. Let's head that way. Well, we've made it to the pool. It's after a day of shooting this, all sorts of different ways. What stood out to you as far as positives on the Franke Affinity 3? Well, I thought that the gun pointed really well. Today was the first time I had ever even shot this gun, so it pointed well. I seemed to hit targets pretty well, whether it was from over the head, from the hip, behind the back, yeah. I shot it well. Yeah, you did that. I mean, you picked this gun up with almost no experience with it and just started shooting it well. One thing I really love about the Affinity 3 is that at the price point that it's at, you can get the plain camo versions for less than $1,000. It's got a milled out loading port, which I believe makes loading shells a lot easier. But you said that you were getting your finger caught a little bit in there. Well, one of the things or issues that I had today was every time I came to load and put a shell into the magazine tube, that last eighth inch was more difficult than it normally is on a shotgun. And I caught my thumb a few times. I've Good. only put shells into shotguns about 400,000 times, and I don't usually have a problem with that. So that was one thing that I definitely noticed today. One thing I like is I always like oversized controls. I like the controls on this gun. I think they operate well. One thing that you mentioned about this gun that surprised you is that you were able to shoot it pretty fast. You never outran it, even when you were yep. doing some speed shooting. Yep, so inertia guns in the past, I've been able to outrun a lot of them with my trigger finger, and today, no problems, didn't have any problems trying to outrun, or when I was trying to outrun this gun. So it cycled extremely fast, and kept up. And maybe part of that is too, is a lot of the inertia guns that we've shot in the past are three and a half inch. You got a three inch version here, that definitely helps. That is a big difference. What do you think of the ergonomics of it? Like the grip, the feel, the balance, that type of stuff. Overall, I like the grip and feel. I like the texture on it and how it feels in, in the hand as far as where your hand placement is. However, this gun, at least in my feel, feels like it is a lot of weight forward, mm -hmm. and I like a more balanced feel in my hand. So um, it's a little bit front heavy for me. Which is interesting because what you find is a lot of the inertia guns aren't that way. They're a little bit lighter up front right. because they don't have the gas piston and the different things up front. A lot of times the spring and the inertia gun is in back. The spring on the Franke Affinity 3 is actually up front, so it does feel just balance wise. I agree with you, pick it up, you're like, oh, it's a little heavier in front, which, you know, when you hold it in the hands, feels heavy, but sometimes that can be a nice thing on sporting clay type shooting with a nice smooth swing, having a little bit more weight up front. So I think that's just kind of a, a preference thing. So something we both didn't like about this gun, and if you've seen my reviews, I say this in almost every review that has a large fiber optic bead on there, get rid of that. We just need a small bead on there. I don't even need a fiber. Just a brass I, or ivory bead works fine. I don't mind a fiber bead on mine. Steve and I disagree on that. However, that is a red and a green fiber on that, and that was very distracting to me. Give me a single green, that's all I need on yeah. my fiber optic. Overall, at the price point, I think this is a fine gun. It's got a little more recoil than some of the guns that we shoot, especially gas guns, but on the target loads we are shooting, not a big deal. Not a big deal, and that's the thing is like, a shotgun is a very personal type thing. What Steve and I may like, what you may like, may differ a little bit. And so that's just okay. When I'm looking at a shotgun, or we're looking at shotguns, it's does it perform well, does it hold up, and uh, do we like the price point that it's at? Kind of those things. There's a lot of good manufacturers and guns out there, but um, this one was definitely surprised me. I've not shot a Franke very much, and I definitely would uh, check them out in the future. One thing I gotta point out, this didn't happen on camera, but we were getting ready for speed shooting. I let Aaron take a few practice shots. I don't know, I said something that made you mad and you got angry and you just whipped the clays out there and you just went <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And you just smoked them all. And I was like, <laughs> he shoots this gun pretty well. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this look Ghoul Brother style at the Franke Affinity 3. Like I said, if you wanna see the full review, you can check it out on Target Focus Life. It's been a great day here in Texas. I think it's time to go swimming. Should we get ready? Let's get ready. That was fast. I hope you enjoyed watching. Remember, it's impossible to hit the shots you never take. So pull that trigger and shoot for your dreams. See ya! Pool time!
I didn't come to Texas for no polar plunge, man. That's some cold stuff right there. Don't, don't these people know that they need heated pools during the winter? Come on. <laughs> it's been a good day.